what's up everyone and welcome back to sword fighter simulator so today guys we have a new update it's called update 6 and this time around we're gonna have a new world it's called marine castle we have some new weapons new pets a relic leveling dudes are oh, awesome i love relic leveling that means that we can increase the power of our relics and then the fallen stars i don't know what that is and then we have additional mount as well what is corruption is lurking i don't know what that is and we have a new code new year so without further ado let's check this one out okay first things first we're gonna grab that code because uh, that one will give us some boost boosts are always awesome so always use the codes there you go not valid of course because i'm dumb <laughs> yeah there you go without space guys you need to type it without space so i receive a two times power boost nice so we are gonna move to the next area because it says that we have a new area called marine castle so it's probably gonna be at the end look at that guys i'm so close to ascending again uh, i just need a uh, 359 qid power and by the way guys look at all these pets these are all the pets that i have right now actually i can get it a lot stronger if i equip my legendary because this one is a celestial legendary which gives me 2.01 billion power but i rather equip this one the prismatic pegasus because they are all mythic and they all look so cool look at that also guys i managed to grab two secrets this secret is so op look at that 16.44 billion how amazing is that and then the other one is a necro portal uh, this secret guys only spawn on nighttime so yeah you can summon this on daytime you can only get this on nighttime fortunately i managed to grab one during the nighttime that's why i got this one so it's so awesome look at that that's my lineup as of the moment uh, remember guys i don't have all the lock game passes i only have like the basic lock game pass which is this one i think this one costs 99 robux that's it the rest of the game pass i don't have even the ultra lock or the magic drop or the super lock i don't have those unlocked so yeah it's possible guys to get a lot of nice and decent pet even the weapon guys as you can see my weapon as of the moment is a divine wing slayer this is a mythic weapon i grabs a total of seven of this that's why i got two extra here uh, and look at that guys one point sx power that's so crazy anyway Guys, we're gonna move on to the next area the marine castle this one will cost us uh 29.7 dd coins so let's go into this let's go confirm yay nice we are here right now so these are all the pets that you can grab on this map 40.5 dd coins per summon and uh we have the quest of course as always we're gonna grab this quest uh, i need to kill eight marines okay we're gonna do a quick run on this quest first but before we do that i need to change my relic uh into the deadly ice ball because this one has an amazing crit multiplier and the damage actually i have one more relic that has a lot more damage than this but i rather have this one because this one has a uh, increased crit chance and a cr increased crit multiplier i think the relic that i'm talking about is this one look at that guys 100 crit chance 2400 damage but this one don't have crit multiplier i rather have this one because the enemies dies quickly if i have this equipped and i am going to change my weapon to the one that has damage is this one that's damage this one has damage this one only has power but it's okay okay we are gonna kill eight marines let's see how fast we oh my god look at that guys the marines are melting oh look at that my my crit is like 256 is it 256 253 oh my god 253 sxd these guys are melting man whenever i crit look at that <laughs> suddenly the hp is gone when i crit oh my god look at that oh it's so op man it's so op okay last one and we're gonna move on to the next quest but i want to find out how can we level the uh, relics so we're gonna turn this quest first there you go now i need to kill 30 marine but before we do that uh let's figure out how can oh wait wait, wait. we have a new weapon 510 qi and that's only a normal weapon 510 qi okay never mind my wing slayer is still op compared to that one but we are going to check now how can we level up our relic i guess there's like a leveling station for relic on other maps so we're gonna find out where it is okay i just figured out guys it's actually near the dungeon entrances so we just need to go in here and it's on the left side there it is guys the anvil that will level up your relics so let's activate it oh my god i had a feeling that we will be using the extra relics that we had before uh to feed up your main relics to level up i am so sad because i deleted a lot of these guys especially this mythical relics i deleted a lot of these oh no anyways let's try this one out and select this deadly ice ball because i love using this while leveling guys this relic is actually op so select the ice ball and then select our trash relics here to fit it there you go level four and let's check what's going to be the new stats 
Before, the original stats of this relic is like 200% crit chance, 200% crit multiplier, and 1100% damage. Oh, look at that guys. We got additional 18% on both crit chance and crit multiplier. And 72% on damage. Dude, that's so awesome. Imagine if we max it out to level 50, the additional stat is going to be OP. Okay, now we're gonna head back to Marine Castle and let's grab some new pets. But before we do that, of course, we're gonna use our lock boost. Uh, we're just gonna use the 10 minutes one and we are not gonna auto-delete anything because I want to check out the power multiplier on all of these pets. So let's go, let's go, start hatching. Okay, my lock boost just uh, ran out. So we are going to check what pets do we get. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a single legendary. But I think I grabbed a couple of epics. So we are going to check what's going to be the multiplier. Look at that, guys. The epics are like 32 billion power multiplier. Look at that. It's actually almost double of my secret. That's crazy strong. Look at that. And I got a lot of rares as well. Uh, I want to see what's going to be the normal one. The normal one is 4.64. The normal one is 4.65 billion, guys. <laughs> it's crazy. It's even a lot stronger than my mythic. <laughs> and this one is shiny. This is a shiny prismatic Pegasus. And uh, yeah, the common pets on this one is a lot stronger than that. So, so now I'm going to make them into shiny and celestial so we can see what's going to be the overall um, power multiplier of my pets so we're gonna go to uh skull Cove first yes and we're gonna make them to shiny okay there you go guys i make everything into shiny except for the epic because i want to check first the damage after i converted most of them into celestial so we're gonna go to ether city uh we're gonna convert um the rares and the normal one into celestial uh i got oh no i only got three of this no so we're probably gonna do this other rare first into celestial there you go and we're gonna check the pets now if we equip best guys look at that so i got a lot of 37.66 billion and the epics yeah guys the basic one is not worth it to make into shiny yeah i guess the glimmer and the epics are worth to collect on this one so just dump everything else now my power per click is uh plus 8.38 qad power that's actually insane so we're gonna go back to marine castle because i still have some leftover coins so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to upgrade uh using my coins i still have enough to upgrade my power gain there you go uh one more power gain there you go the next one yeah i'm not gonna use that because i want to upgrade my crit chance there you go dc there you go dc still dc nice another one there you go ud yes i max my crit chance and then i'm going to upgrade my crit multiplier as well there you go. These guys are amazing, especially if you're trying to kill the mobs a lot quicker. Crit chance and crit multipliers are OP. Now, uh, I still have a few more so I can use it now here. And then max storage as well. And then walk speed. Nice. Now, I've left with 283.2 DD. And then I can continue with my quest. But before we continue with the quest, I want to use some boost. Uh, the reason for this, because I want to ascend quickly since I'm really close right now, guys. Look at that. It's like less than a quarter. And then I will be ascending. So, I am going to use use my power boost maybe 20 minutes there you go and look at that my per click now is 16.68 qad i think this one is enough for me to farm up to 359 qid power so i'll be back guys after i reach this power okay now guys i'm ready to ascend but as you can see my per click right now is 14.23 qad so we are going to ascend now let's go let's go there you go we're gonna be a b class hero with times 130 billion ascend nice there you go my click right now is 42.82 qad look at that man that's so awesome now i need to farm more power <laughs> Because yeah, after ascending, I don't have enough power now to kill this mob. So I'm gonna be probably AFK this one for an hour or two. I'm gonna use my power buff as well. Wait, wait, wait. Where's our power buff? There you go. We're gonna use this uh, like two times, I guess. So yeah, I'm just gonna AFK for a bit to farm more power so I can continue with my quest. And hopefully after that one, I'm gonna start farming uh, more relics so I can actually upgrade some of my relics. I actually want to upgrade this one. I still haven't gotten the ring of poison. So I'm just sticking to what I have right now but i'm probably gonna keep upgrading this one as of the moment since i don't have the ring of poison because this one is actually an amazing farming relic so yeah i'm just gonna stick to this one until i got my ring of poison but anyways guys that's it for today's video that's update 6 of sword fighter simulator if you want to watch more please don't forget to subscribe and like this video see you again next time guys bye